Hi, my name is Dr. Craig Bissinger. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist, and today I'd like to speak with you about nuchal-fold testing. Nuchal-fold testing is a discussion that you should be having with your physician if you are pregnant in the first portion of the pregnancy. This testing is appropriate for women um, who are under 35 years of age at the time the baby will be born. This is a discussion that you should be having with your physician, and this discussion that I'm going to have with you today is a supplement, but it is not meant to take the place of your independent discussion with your own doctor, nor should you use this information solely to make your decision. In fact, this should not be construed as medical advice. It's just simple discussion about the merits of testing and what they really mean for you and how you will apply them in your um, obstetrical decision making. The nuchal fold test is offered to you by your physician between 11 and 14 weeks of pregnancy. It will pick up many but not all cases of chromosome problems with Down syndrome as well as a chromosome 13 or 18 deficiency. Also they may pick up some babies that have, have heart defects or are at risk for a small baby later in the pregnancy. Having said that, it's important to understand that ultimately this is a test that will help us to determine if you want to do further testing, meaning if the test results suggest that there's a higher risk of a baby with a chromosome problem you'll be offered additional testing, such as an amniocentesis where a needle will be stuck, placed into the sac around the baby and will draw out fluid, or another test called a CVS, which is called chorionic villi sampling. This is done early in the pregnancy where some of the placental tissue is removed and is grown to check the DNA. Both of these tests will give us a very definitive answer if your baby has a chromosomal problem. Understanding, though, that a chromosomal problem cannot be corrected. This means that your baby will have this chromosomal defect. And you'll have to decide if this is something that you are prepared to allow to come to fruition, and meaning that the baby will be born, or if you don't feel comfortable with the child with those specific kind of problems, then you would have to consider the opportunity of termination of pregnancy. So I think we need to be honest when we talk to our patients about nuchal fold testing, meaning that yes, it is a standard of care. That means that it is a test that every physician should be offering their patients. However, you have to talk to your patient to understand what they are going to do with the information. Some couples will never consider termination of a pregnancy. They are going to take home whatever baby they are um, fortunate enough to have, whereas others may choose to terminate the pregnancy. So before you decide upon doing a test such as nuchal fold, I think you need to understand what will be offered to you as you go through the testing process and what ultimately can be accomplished and given to you as an outcome for that result, which means the following. If you do a nuchal fold test and your test is normal, then you'll feel very good that you're going to have a healthy pregnancy. However, make no mistake, there are some cases where the test will miss a baby that does have the problem. However, if you're in the group that has an abnormal result, this does not mean you will have a baby with a problem. It does put you into a higher risk grouping and one which we would suggest to you that you consider doing an amniocentesis or the CVS test. Now, the important issue is to understand that a CVS or an amnio has a small risk of miscarriage associated with the test. This means that by doing the procedure, i.e. either placing a needle into the sac and drawing some fluid out, or by taking a little bit of the placental tissue out, both of these have a small risk of miscarriage. So before you decide to do the test, you have to kind of decide what will you do with this information. If your baby is going to have a Down syndrome or another DNA problem, are you going to maintain the pregnancy regardless, or would you consider interrupting that pregnancy or terminating? This is really important because I have patients who really will not consider termination as an option. And in those cases, I discourage patients from doing a test that they will not utilize in making decisions. All it's going to do is make them a little more nervous about what's going on and um, make the pregnancy perhaps a little more stressful. So before you choose to do the test, you should consider the, the, what you or your husband together will choose to do. 
talk to your physician about that decision, and then live with that decision. The worst scenario would be to have done the nuchal testing and opt not to go further, knowing that you have a baby with a higher risk than before of a DNA problem. This is a discussion that you and your husband should have prior to even considering the test, and also one that you should have with your physician. For more information to the, about nuchal fold testing and other practical points that may be helpful for you during your pregnancy, I'd like to introduce you to a book that I've written. It's called Pickles and Ice Cream, Father's Guide to Pregnancy. You can get it on Amazon.com. It's a nice book for, for fathers, just 130 page, 132 pages, very practically written for the husband, partner, so he can have information without going through the strain and stresses of having to read those larger and thicker meaty pregnancy texts. Um, I hope you will uh, enjoy the information I provided you with and if you have other suggestions for topics that you'd like to have discussed on this forum, please uh, send me information through the YouTube site or at uh, drb or drb at pickles and ice cream .info. Thank you.